opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. Bg5 puts immediate threatens the knight on f6. White may castle queenside after developing the queen. e6 controls the important d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. f4 gains space in the center, controls the e5 square, and prepares to develop the queen to f3 behind the f pawn. qb6 develops the queen, attacks the knight on d4 and unpins the knight of f6. qd2 develops the queen and prepares queenside castling. QXB2 captures the B2 pawn and attacks the rook on a 1. RB1 attacks the queen and takes control of the half open B file. QA3 moves the attacked queen to the only square where it will not be captured. F5 attacks the pawn on E6 and allows the queen on D2 to protect the bishop on G5. NC6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on D4 and controls the E5 square. Fxe6 captures the pawn and threatens x7 plus. Fxe6 recaptures the pawn but weakens the e8h5 diagonal. Nxc6 trades off the knight on c6 before it can move to e5. Bxc6 recaptures the knight. B2 develops the bishop and prepares a possible future check on h5. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This moves the queen to safety. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This moves the queen to safety. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.